Hi. Today we have got a more number pattern. Again, we will try to find out the logic behind this pattern and also find two more terms which will follow this given number series. So as I have told you frequently that first thing is to find the difference between two consecutive terms of the series. So let's find the differences. The differences here are 19 minus 9. This time I'll write here 19 minus 9 is equal to 10. Then 37 minus 19 is equal to 18. 75 minus 37 is equal to 15 minus 7 is 8 and then 6 minus 3 is 3, 38. 149 minus 75 is equal to 9 minus 5 is 4 and 14 minus 7 is 7. Then we have 299 minus 149, which will be equal to 9 minus 9, 0, 9 minus 4, 5, and 2 minus 1, 1, 150. So if we see these differences, these differences are not constant. Here the difference is increased by 8, but at very next place it is increased by 20 right and then it is increased by 36 and then again it is increased by 76 right so there is no clear-cut logic about how these differences are increasing but if we see carefully so this 10 is nothing but 9 plus 1 isn't it? This 9, which is the first term of the series. 9 plus 1. And this 18 is actually equal to 19, which is the second term of the series minus 1. So 18 is actually equal to 19 minus 1. Similarly, 38, the difference we got is equal to 37 plus 1, this term plus 1, right? And 74 is actually 75 minus 1, this term, minus 1. And 150 is 149 plus 1. And this can also be seen as, you start from the first term, double it, right and add one so let me write it multiply by two and then plus one similarly 19 to the 38 so this is 38 minus one right so let us try to write what is actually happening over here so here also, if we fix the first term, that is t1 is equal to 9 that we have fixed. So t2 is actually is equal to t1, which was 9. And then we have added this t1 again and plus 1. So t2 was t1 plus t1 plus 1 but t3 is t2 that is 19 plus t2 minus 1 right but t4 again is t3 plus t3 plus 1 right so what can we 
conclude from these three statements first thing is very clear that to find the next term we have to double the previous term we have to add previous term to itself that means double the previous term then sometimes we are adding one and sometimes we are subtracting ones right like here we have added one but here we are subtracting one again we have added one and to find the fifth term that is this term we are actually subtracting one 75 double is 150 minus one is 149 so if we see carefully to find the even term we are adding one right but to find the odd term we are subtracting one isn't it so let's write the logic to find the terms of this pattern so first thing is t1 is equal to 9 this is first thing and now i'm writing one thing tn is equal to 2 times the previous term that is tn minus 1 plus minus 1 to the power n. So when this n is even, this will return us a positive value, positive 1, 1 to the power anything is equal to 1. So when minus 1 to the power an even number, we will get a plus 1. So when is n is equal to even, minus 1 to the power n is equal to 1. But when n is equal to odd number, minus 1 to the power n will be equal to minus 1. Right? So these things, these things will be taken care of. When to subtract 1 and when to add 1 will be taken care of by this term. Right? So this is the common mathematical expression to find the terms of the given pattern. The given pattern was this. And this is the formula which we got by analyzing these differences to find the nth term. So let's find next few terms of the pattern. So I have erased everything and noted down the series and the formula which we have recently found. So let me first number the terms. This is our first term, this is our second term, third term, fourth, fifth, sixth, this will be seven, and next term which we have to find will be eight. So now let us first find the seventh term. So D7 will be 2 times T6 plus minus 1 to the power 7, right? Here N will be 7 because we have to find the seventh term. So it will be 2 times 299 and minus 1 to the power 7 will be minus 1 because minus 1 to the power any odd number gives us minus 1. So this will be 9 to the 18, 9 to the 18 plus 1, 19, 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5, and then minus 1. So this will be equal to 5, 90, 7. Right? So our seventh term will be 597. Right? Now let's find the eighth term. If we use this given formula again, our eighth term will be T8 will be 2 times T7, that is 2 times 597 plus minus 1 to the power 8 
which will be equal to 2 7 are 14, 2 9 are 18, plus 1 19, 5 2 are 10, plus 1 11, and minus 1 to the power 8 will be plus 1. So this will be equal to 1 1 9 5. A, our 8 term will be 1195. So let's put it down here. 1195. So we have found the logic for the given series. And we have also found two terms which were vacant.